Who wins are here reporting for FYP TV as Crystal Palace batted very hard today, uh, but once again came up short, losing 1 0 to Everton in rather controversial style. Uh, with Everton scoring, Palace having 10 players on the pitch, Schlup being down injured uh, for quite a period of time, ball going out of the uh, out of play uh, and the referee allowing Everton to take a throw in which they subsequently scored from uh, and which they're always going to score from uh, being Palace's luck this season. Um, although it was a defeat, plenty of positives to take away from today. Um, defended very very well in a new 3-5-2 formation with Ward and Schlupp playing at wing backs uh, and Schlupp played very well looking rather composed in the left back position uh, both defensively and offensively going forward. Uh, and looking like a good signing, even though it's after one game. Uh, Kabai played very well in the centre midfield, I felt. Uh, kept the game ticking over, provided some very good threatening passes, as well as mopping up uh, in front of the back five, as it was at the time. Uh, but unfortunately, a knock to him meant that he had to come off, and for the last five minutes of his performance, he looked very off the pace, and uh, let's just hope it's nothing serious. Uh, and also, uh, props to Wayne Hennessy today. Uh, many expected Sproon's starting goal, me being one of them. Uh, and after Wayne's poor performance last weekend, which cost us uh, two or three goals, people could argue, uh, the Welsh stopper put in some fantastic saves uh, and, and did very well uh, and was unlucky not to keep a clean sheet on, on the back of today's performance. But Palace were let down, um, arguably by not having really any game changers today and there was no one that could take on two or three Everton defenders and beat them, I'm missing someone like a Zaha or Balassi of you know, uh, last season. Uh, and the midfield pairing of Punch and MacArthur for me disappointed. Uh, I know it's uh, not right for me to say, and most Palace fans would expect Kabai to be the one because he's the one on the scapegoat list at the moment. But Punchin and MacArthur were quite poor in their respective disciplines. Punch, um, MacArthur himself not winning many tackles, um, being shrugged off the ball more than he's used to, uh, and Punch quite wasteful in possession. Uh, and his set, plays, set pieces today were rather poor, floating the ball in uh, and basically allowing the Everson keeper easy grabbings at pretty much every opportunity. So, uh, Palace once again lose, uh, now we're in the relegation zone uh, and we've got City next in the cup. So, it's going to be a, a tough month of February where points are essential. I'll be Skipper Windsor reporting for FYP TV. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Have a good day. Bye.